Hello, welcome back to BS Life. Today, I'm going to show you how to uh, use this add-on called Push to Talk. And this add-on basically allowing you to record music and sound from your microphone or using Black Hole or Soundflower. This, this, these guys are for if you want to record like MIDI sound cleanly. Uh, but anyway, the built-in microphone is the most uh, the easiest and simplest way to record into Blender right away, and it's gonna save the sound into a directory folder in your computer, so you can start mixing sound in Blender. Why do you want to do that? Um, if you have um, sounds, you can control animations using sound, and we're gonna I'm gonna show you how uh, to use animation nodes to control a little bit of animations. So in this case, um, I have an example. I know I have to, I have to st uh, play around with my mixing, but basically, I this is uh, me recording the MIDI sound from my MIDI controller into an app into Blender, right? This is actually pretty cool and clean. And uh, but before I go there, I'm gonna show you how I do this from scratch. So normally from 3D view in Blender, I'm gonna split it in half like this and I'm gonna turn on. I'm gonna switch to video sequencer and you can see this This is a new button that's gonna, it's gonna be added if you install this add-on. So push to talk, video. Uh, it's gonna work inside video sequence editor by Ines and Francesco, okay? We're gonna save this as audio recording actually it's a push audio demo so what the add-on gives you also this new panel called push to talk so by default by default it's gonna give this prefix temp dialog and the sound you can um, specify the directory I just call it push to talk directory so you need to specify the path and then the sound card. Let's just try try this built-in microphone for now. Okay, I'm gonna try to do recording while I'm recording this video. Okay, hopefully this works. If I hit this button, I can start recording my voice. Hello, hello. Testing, testing audio recording from inside Blender. I hit stop, right? This temp dialog will be saved into my folder. And normally for every recording, you get this strip of audio where you can display the waveform. Hello, hello. Testing, testing audio recording from inside Blender. So this is really cool. You can actually quickly record dialogue um, or some kind of narrations throughout the, let's say you are doing like a, like an animatic like a simple animation blocking and you want to add narrations while you are playing back in Blender, you can do that. Um, sometimes the audio might be lagging while if the playback is not real time. In this case, it's, it's working. And I can make quickly make another recording. So it's gonna do it. It's not gonna override the previous one. It's actually gonna create a new recording every time. So let me Select this and then tap H to hide it, to mute it. Stripe, uh, lock and mute. So H, that's the short key, uh, the hot key. So let's try again. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. So this, once again, display waveform. Okay, that's testing. I'm gonna save that. It's actually already saved in my hard drive as well. So let's try uh, making random noise. So that's me. So okay. So that works. The clicker. So I can use that sound to drive. Animation, for example, for this default cube, yeah, that's, that's also, or you just use Suzanne, Suzanne the monkey head. I can now switch to 
animation nodes. This is uh, just the basic. We have sound, spectrum intensity follow. -off. Let's use this sound input. So it's the sound input, whatever you have here, the audio stripe, it's gonna take a look and then you can pick any of them. And from this, that sound we can use to measure the intensity of the sound. This is just a single mono. We can use a full, but for now, let's keep it like this. And then we need to have frame, frame info. The rest of them we can control the amplitude, etc. And the spectrum we can use to control also then transform object. Okay. okay. Uh, transform object transform output. So Suzanne, click Suzanne, and this is scale. Spectrum goes to scale, and Suzanne will disappear because there is no value until we play back. Yep, and we can pick the second dialog, for example, hide this one, we want the second one. Option H to bring it back. Use the second one. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Okay, so it's cool. And yeah, it's gonna work even with the first recording there. So you could basically Hello, create some kind of visualization. Audio recording from inside Blender. Yeah. If you want Suzanne had not to disappear, disappear, we need some kind of value, right? So this is a little bit of math here. Just add a, a starting value, like the default value. Hello, hello. Testing, testing audio recording from inside Blender. And that, that works as well. You can give Suzanne a different color. If we have multiple Suzanne, so Suzanne, Suzanne A, So you, you can't see the color, you need to be in second review, at least. So, so second Suzanne, give another material. And you can control, if you use EV, you can control the glow and intensity of light. So it's gonna be pretty cool, you can control it using sound, uh, recording or MIDI. If you use MIDI controller, you can basically record the MIDI uh, press um, value or the actual sound. I think it's easier to record the sound. So here we have this, right? We can just duplicate it and we can choose uh, Suzanne one, two, three. Okay, this, this one, okay, it's a, there's a bug there. So we're gonna be using three different sound, temp dialog one, two, three, and each one of them will be controlling to them. They're gonna play back at the same time. Testing, Hello, testing, one, testing, two, audio three. recording, testing, testing inside one, two, three. You can make it a little bit, uh, I mean, sounds a little bit funnier if you change the pitch a little bit. So that it can be lower, can be higher. Testing. Hello. Because they all play back at the same time, um, it's harder to listen to what I'm talking. However, let's see. This click clack can can overlap. What cool with Blender, however, if you have like a multiple sound and you want to kind of combine, you can actually just render and it, Render audio. It's gonna mix everything that's uh, not muted. Okay. Hello, hello. Testing, testing audio recording from inside Blender. Testing one, two, three. So, for example, the, the click clack, right? Two. Stop working. Two, three. 
because this guy become suddenly become slightly different in terms of timing. I mean, they they, be, they become a different block actually. If I show you, yeah, it's becoming block number three, I believe. So this needs to be baked. The click clacking. So render audio and let's say save it as wave. I just call it clack. Mix down. It's gonna mix down the audio for that single block. I can hide this and I can bring the audio sound. So this is all the sound that's been saved actually, that's we've been recording. So we have this clacker. So now we can simply use the clack. So it's gonna work correctly now. Okay, so this is option H. Hello, hello. Testing, testing audio recording from outside blender. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two. If the timing looks slightly wrong because I changed the pitch, remember? So the pitch actually does not 100% uh, work with this uh, animation nodes. Um, you might want to bake it out first. Hello, hello. Testing, testing audio recording from inside Blender. So the timing. One, two, three. The timing should testing be correct one, as long as the animation is running at uh, 24 frames per second. If it's not, you can always bake it anyway. With animation nodes, you better off baking animations and everything before you send it. So now I can bake these animations and bake the sound and then. If you want to make like augmented reality um, recording, you can. It's all timed properly, and you can simply hit this page. So that's how you uh, you can use this add-on called Push to Talk to record things from inside Blender and time uh, the animation. So the next thing I want to show you, like uh, maybe in the future video, I will try to maybe like make some kind of robot animations, like a simple one. You know, robot playing like a instrument and try to time each instrument with the animation of the robot and gonna create some kind of performance based of uh, based on that. So yeah, maybe. Uh, but using MIDI has slight uh, difficulty. I mean, uh, slightly confusing. Like you need to make sure the source is clean, like using black hole or sunflower. There's a slight complicated uh, setup. You see, even I mean, Mac is uh, MacBook computer should be should be easy enough to do uh, on on PC Windows. Maybe slightly trickier, but we'll see. Okay. So thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.